Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. So the Three of Pentacles is one of Tarot's group, group activity cards. You can see the three people here within this structure and it looks like this person here is doing some of the work. Maybe he's getting advice or counsel from these folks. Maybe they're the, um, the advisors or maybe they're the client or the customer that he's trying to please. Regardless, they're trying to work together in order to, uh, in order to create and to build something beautiful, something that uh, takes time, it takes skill, it takes ability. It also takes compromise and negotiation, the ability of each of these folks here to listen to each other. And it's the working toward the common goal. So for some of you, this could relate to you with respect to your work and that you're working as part of a team and you're trying to create something. For others, this could be that you are, maybe you're a solo practitioner, but you have to work with others in concert in order to get a project or, you know, whatever it may be to get it created. And uh, it also could suggest the, um, uh, the work involved in relationships as well. And the dynamic of people and how they interact but really with respect to what we see we see the group here working together trying to accomplish something so here's this uh, energy where you're with someone else and you may, you may be feeding off their energy you may be inspired by what they say it may create a spark and then we have the hermit and the hermit is this wild wise old sage standing at the top of the mountain here looking down he may see things that others don't see and he is holding his lantern for enlightenment and for illumination and so when we see the hermit it may mean taking a step back it may mean taking yourself out of circulation for a while maybe you need some time in solitude maybe you need some time for yourself and that You've been busy, you've been working hard, you've been active. And here's the hermit to say, don't forget to address your own spiritual needs. Don't um, neglect the time to meditate or to have self-care or just to think, to sit and think, to reflect, to contemplate. When we turn this light inward, we have self-knowledge. And we can use that self-knowledge to inform our actions and the things that we want to achieve. You know, we can learn a lot about ourselves when we get away from the distractions, when we get away from chaos or activity. So in terms of guidance, we have the wonderful Ace of Pentacles and we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. In the Ace of Pentacles, it's like the universe is holding out its hand to you, offering you this incredibly large coin and saying, hmm, if you do certain things, this could be yours. And so we know that the Aces are gifts or blessings from the universe. And here we see the little archway in the path, the path to abundance, the path to happiness, joy, and delight in, in all areas of your life, not only materially, but spiritually as well. And how do we get there? Well, it takes the pentacle approach, which is to uh, take care of your needs, take care of your projects, pay attention, devote the right type of energy, work hard and focus. Be practical and be um, grounded in your efforts and so with this you have the possibility of reaching abundance and I would say always it's you know to have a plan and to work your plan and to do your part in making it come true it takes time it takes patience in order to to get that reward and after this is built perhaps you know it's an incredible structure maybe people take note and they're going to call you up and it's going to increase your 
your uh, vision or it increase your recognition is I think what I'm trying to say. So good fortune can be yours if you are smart, if you are patient, if you are willing to nurture your projects, your ideas, your plans, do all the work that's embedded within. And then we have the wheel of fortune. And the wheel of fortune is symbolic of life, the wheel of life. It's always spinning. Things are always moving. And life moves on whether we're hanging on or not. And so it's something that we have to be aware of is the cycles of, of living. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. Sometimes fortune smiles brightly on us and other times we're like, whoa, where did that come from? What happened? And it's a matter of how you respond, of how you react to either situation. If you have good fortune coming your way, perhaps here you have an unexpected windfall, fortune smiling upon you. In other cases, maybe it's something else. You know, the hot water heater breaks. It's like, ugh, I've been working so hard and now I have to take care of the property. But, you know, the wheel of fortune is always going to be spinning. It's always going to stop somewhere. And it's a matter of keeping your balance and being flexible and being able to adapt and using your head in how you approach things and not letting it defeat you. So the wheel of fortune can bring good fortune. That perhaps your luck changes and that your luck changes for the better and particularly maybe after introspection. King of Pentacles and the Sun, Major Arcana, in your possible outcomes. So this King of Pentacles, he's mastered the pentacle. He's done so with hard work, with following the plan of listening to the experts, of getting expert advice, and of doing what's necessary in order to get there. And maybe he's had some luck and good fortune along the way that's carried him through. But more than likely, it's been through hard work and through collaboration. And so this King of Pentacles is awash in abundance. Coins, comfort, he has what he wants. He may be in the mode of acquiring. He may be on top of the mountain, his own mountain. But, you know, he's, he's earned it by virtue of his approach. And more than likely, probably the patience and the hard work that went behind it to get there. And so we see, we see someone really who's successful, very successful, and particularly successful when it comes to material acquisition, investments, property, money, enterprise. And so with the King of Pentacles here, we have the sun. And the sun beaming down, making you feel alive, making you feel happy, and the sun is a wonderful card of happiness and joy and delight. And it's right below the ace of pentacles. We have two cards that speak to the promise of joy within your heart, in your relationships, in your health, in your ability to be creative and inspirational. We are inspired by the sun. We are fed with warmth. We're kept alive by the sun. And so this energy creates vitality in you. And uh, as the baby's riding the horse, number one, it's free freedom. It feels free and it feels carefree. And we see the banner here of passions, the sunflowers of abundance. They're strong. They're hardy. They grow tall. And... You know, here we have a sense of true abundance with this reading, an abundance of spirit and an abundance of joy and happiness. So wonderful cards for you. Let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. A beautiful thought, and perhaps this goes to abundance for some of you, or for good fortune, or for good luck, or for guidance. 
And finally, let's choose a card for love. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. Learning to meet another's need for love. So perhaps it's the same when we get to know each other, we have to understand people. We have to understand where they're coming from. Maybe we need to understand how they've been loved as a child and growing up or other relationships. It's a part of getting to know people. This is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a great week and a very happy new year, and I will see you soon. Take care.